Good day folks and welcome to review number 59. Today we'll be delving into the world of third party Transformers as we take a look at the fans project Function X1 Code. So let's start off looking at the packaging here. Uh, Function X1 comes packaged in what's basically a plain brown cardboard box here uh, with a plastic sleeve around around the outside and uh, all of the printed detail is on the plastic sleeve so uh, the front side you have kind of a grid pattern and the uh, function X logo here on the front uh, turning to the right side you've got a picture of the Function X figure, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to refer to as Chrome Dome from here on out. Um, just some basic uh, single color art there. Uh, the back side, you've got your typical um, safety warning there and uh, some more line art. And then the big Function X1 code on the left hand side. So that's basically your packaging right there. Opening up the box we find the robot figure inside packaged in robot mode in a uh, uh, plastic tray carton. So here we have the Chrome Dome figure itself. And uh, obviously, at first glance, you can tell this is fans project intended this to homage Chrome Dome. There's no doubt about it. And he is very, very reminiscent of his G1 figure. Uh, the uh, the color scheme, uh, every everything is a very, very flat paint job. Uh, I've noticed on here there's not any gloss. Uh, anywhere on this figure that I can I can really see other than on the on the canopy there um, And I think that that kind of harkens towards more of a uh, cartoon uh, homage, but uh, looking at the figure uh, the head uh, is on a swivel joint here, so the head does rotate um, you've got a ball jointed shoulder, uh, although because of, if you look in here, uh, there's uh, the amount of space that that ball can move is kind of limited, so he can't move side to side a whole lot. Um, he could have opened that up just a little bit, and, and I don't think that would have affected the figure a whole lot and given him a little bit more arm articulation. Um, but he does have a, a bicep swivel, an elbow wrist swivel and a little bit of a wrist tilt here uh, you've got a waist swivel you've got uh, ball jointed hips uh, thigh swivel uh, knee joint there um, and uh, really no ankle articulation either so um, articulation wise uh, probably the two biggest beefs are the uh, the limited shoulders and the lack of ankle articulation. Um, although those those are kind of minor, so uh, I'm not. It's not really a big complaint against the figure, uh, but I think there's a couple areas they could have improved on. One other area that left me um, a little wanting on this figure uh, are these legs here. Uh, the way these fold up. Uh, it leaves this massive gap on the uh, inner side of the lower leg. And uh, I don't know if they could have done anything. I, I think they could have done something to have helped fill that gap a little so it doesn't stand out quite as much. And uh, the other th because of the other thing is this panel... I mean, it comes up and, and stops at a point, but it doesn't really clip in, so it comes right back down. Um, everything is so tight on this figure, though. All of the joints are very tight, so I mean, this isn't going to flop around on you, at least not now. 
uh, if that joint ever loosens up, I could see that being a problem. Um, but um, yeah, the 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 legs are uh, leave me a little wanting. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, the only accessories he comes with are his two iconic red uh, guns. The, uh, and but they did a really, really good job. Uh, they're they're molded well. They're they're painted. Uh, so the uh, the guns the guns look great. And uh, really, I don't think. Uh, I don't think he really needs any other accessories other than those. Now, I've heard some people online complaining about Chrome Dome's size, uh, that he's uh, definitely smaller than some of the other Fans Project toys that have came out. Um, and just to give you an idea of what his size is, um, since I had him handy, here is Transformers Prime. Uh, R.I.D. Dead End, uh, which is the same as a wheeljack mold, um, and you can see it is quite a bit taller, uh, unless you include the wings back here. But uh, I mean, he is he is bigger than a deluxe figure. Um, he's not quite Voyager size though, so I would put him at somewhere between a uh, you know around, around the size of a tall, deluxe, or a small Voyager. Now, let's look at Chrome Dome's transformation. Fans Project really did a great job of striking a balance with how this figure transforms. There's enough complexity here to keep the transformation interesting, but yet it's not so complex that you won't enjoy transforming the figure. There's some very interesting points in this transformation as well. In particular, the way the chest piece slides up and down in that groove, and the way the legs expand to become nearly the entire side of the car. Now for the most part, everything on this figure pegs or clips together nicely. The few problems that I do have with this mold tend to involve tight tolerances. While the slide for the chest slash hood piece is a neat idea, the groove on mine is so tight though, I worry about breaking that little piece off between the chest and the hood every time I move it. Also, the clips on the bottom of the car are great when going from robot to car, however, when you go the other direction, it can be very difficult to unclip those to get him back into robot mode. Overall though, this is a good, solid transformation process, and it lives up to what I would expect from Fans Project. Now, the Headmaster figure is very similar to the G1 style Headmasters, with the exception of this little feature here that uh, covers up the eyes when you unfold the figure. Uh, otherwise, there's not much articulation here, and he is very reminiscent of the G1 Headmaster figures. So here we have Chrome Dome's vehicle mode. And uh, again, it is very reminiscent of his G1 toy. Uh, it's basically, I mean, it looks like uh, an 80s semi-sports car. <laughs> so um, they did a good job of capturing the likeness of the, the original toy. A um, couple minor nitpicks, though, is that there are a few little gaps here and there. Uh, it's not the it's not the cleanest mold, uh, but it is it it is a good representation of the uh, the original vehicle. As with the G1 vehicle, uh, figure also gives you the option to mount his weapons on top of the car here, so. He can be uh, weaponized in vehicle mode as well. And just as with the 
G1 toy, you can put the headmaster unit inside the vehicle. And uh, he actually has some little controls here. Uh, so it can look like he's actually driving the car. There's a little peg you can peg him down onto in there. Uh, and close the canopy on him. And there he is driving. The Fans Project Function X1 Code homage to the G1 Chrome Dome is a good figure. For a third party figure, it's priced just about right for what it does. Is it a perfect figure? Unfortunately, no. It still has some issues. However, since $20 of the price of this figure went to Toys for Tots, I'm okay with the price tag. I also see this figure as the first of their new Headmaster line. They can learn from this experience and make the other Headmasters, the ones I have more of an attachment to, even better.